All right, welcome back to COD. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, nope. Okay, we're going back to Destiny. Hey guys, Gecko here. Welcome back to another video. Today, um, I'm super excited because I think my microphone is finally amazing. Um, not amazing as in like the best in the world, but it's doing all right now. So the gameplay you guys are seeing is from Destiny. As you guys saw in the little clip there, I tried to play some Advanced Warfare. There was more than I showed in that, a lot more. I tried like three games and I haven't played in a couple months. So it was a little, little hard to get back into the swing of things, but um, I'll, I'll practice a little bit. But it, again, I've mentioned this before in other videos, but it is very hard for me to focus on two games at once. Also, this is not my best game of Destiny in the world. Um, I have Red Death upgraded to the Red Death perk in this, so yeah, just FYI. Um, I used Thorn before in this gameplay, but I wasn't doing well, so I cut out until I switched to Red Death. Um, I did not do amazing in this. It's not any kind of really great um, gameplay, but I just kind of needed some gameplay, so I decided to hop on and show you guys a bit of gameplay. So yeah, um, I just kind of, kind of recorded it in a hurry, and hopefully um, you guys enjoy the gameplay anyways, but um, I mean, it wasn't awful. I got like 19 kills in this, which um, for Destiny is not awful. It's not a horrible, horrible number to get. For Call of Duty, that's probably not very good. Here comes this Blade Dancer. Oh, thank you, buddy. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I hope you guys have been doing pretty well. I've been doing pretty freaking awesome. I got a few exotic weapons in Destiny uh, recently. I got the Thorn because actually I finally got an exotic bounty, which I know crazy. I was just talking about how I never get those. And yep, finally an exotic bounty, dear lord. I've been playing this game since day one and I finally got one. I got it from turning in some Iron Banner stuff back when that was available a little while ago and I just completed it. So yeah, um, I have Thorn now. I also got Monte Carlo after um, from the normal Atheon chest, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much uh, what's up with that. Um, I also got the um, Claws of Amkara, I think it's called. Ahamkara, sorry, I don't know. Um, I also have the Skull of, uh, of Dire Ahamkara, but I um, got those a while ago, so that's not any kind of new news. Um, anyways, yeah, I probably won't be using those Claws very much, just because they're not like my favorite thing in the world. Uh, but yeah, anyways guys, so um, I'm pretty glad to be back. Um, it's a nice change. I might do some zombies on my channel right now. Um, I don't know. Tell, tell me if you guys are interested in that happening. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've done a lot of Destiny lately, and I've been meaning to do some COD as well. Obviously, I tried, um, but I'm not that uh, excellent at it after playing a lot. I remember I was, when I started getting back into Destiny again, I mean, I was doing very, very well in COD. I, I would have a lot of 30 and 40 kill matches, which is pretty good with very low I mean, a uh, very high KD. Um, so yeah, um, but it might take a little bit to get back into the swing of things, as I said. Um, I don't know. Call of Duty is just kind of something that you really, really have to keep up with to keep, you know, playing well um, for a long time. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of hard. One of the things I really love about Destiny, though, is just that it always, I mean, I talked about this before, how it has a constant flow of loot, but like my friend, um, Ben, he just got the Mita multi-tool today, and um, let's see, he's level 30 now, he just got to level 30 on his Hunter. Um, he's been playing for a while too, he just got back in into Destiny with me, and we've been playing some together. Um, yeah, um, so that's pretty cool. Oh, also, I can't believe I didn't mention this, I got two freaking, um, I don't know how many of you guys who watch like my videos with Destiny in them actually play Destiny, um, but if you don't, exotic cure weapons are the best weapons in the game. Um, obviously, and I got um, a lot of them yesterday. I got the Claws of uh, Ahamkara. I also got two of the Crest of Alpha Lupi for the Titan, which is really weird that I got two of the exact same ex exotic weapon. Um, I don't know how I managed that, but I actually got a Legendary Ingram. Really funny story. Me and my friend Ben were playing together on a level 26 Daily Heroic um, mission, and I got a legendary chest engram from it, which is what I really needed um, on my hunter because I didn't. That was the only piece of legendary armor I didn't have for him. Um, 
and um, Ben said, man, I really, really wish I had um, the crest of Alpha Loopy. I said, wouldn't it be funny if I turned in this legendary, um, legendary engram and got the crest of Alpha Loopy? Well, no joke. I literally went up to the Cryptarch, turned it in, and got the crest of Alpha Loopy, which completely I flipped out about. I was very, I don't know. That's pretty weird. Like normally you don't say stuff like that, and then it just happens. But apparently, that's uh, that's what was happening that day. Um, my luck for that day was very good. And then I turned in. Uh, I actually bought an exotic uh, Ingram, and then I turned that in, and I got the Claws of ha Ahamkara for the Warlock, uh, which is good because I use Warlock a lot, although they're not the best, if you ask me, um, so I probably won't be using them very much, considering I already have what I believe to be the two best um, exotics for Warlock armor currently in the game, um, which is Obsidian Mind and Heart of the Praxic Fire, so yeah, I mean, I don't really see a point in getting anything else currently. So, yeah, I don't know, but who knows, when the House of Wolves comes out, you know, the new DLC, um, there may be some cool stuff that comes with it that I'll be excited about. Anyways, right now I'm just kind of getting, um, exotic weapons. I'm, I don't know, I'm excited to be into this, this flow of constant exotics that a lot of people have been, kind of, I mean, it's been like that for a while for other people, um, and it feels like I just got into the, to the way of destiny and where I always... I mean, I'm getting exotics all the time, like every week, which is really crazy for me, because Red Death was actually my first exotic weapon ever, and you guys know I just made a video about that. Now I have, let's see, what, like, I've gotten five exotics since then? No, no, I got six. I dismantled one, which was the fourth horseman. I may regret that later if I have every exotic but that, but it's awful. It's an awful shotgun. If it does get buffed, then I'm probably going to be pretty pissed. Um, but I decided I kind of needed the exotic shard to upgrade my obsidian mind all the way and I was like I don't want to spend the strange coins, so I just turned that in um, And I'm glad I did to be honest. It was an awful weapon You literally have to be close enough to melee somebody for that to even I mean have a re remote chance of being any good So yeah, um, I don't really see a point in keeping that if any, any anybody has it I know one guy who really likes it. I have no idea why um, but eh, whatever so, yeah, guys, that is pretty much that. I've been using Voidwalker a lot lately as well, but that's kind of um, off-topic. Um, we kind of get to the end of our match here, and again, it wasn't the best match in the world, but um, it was good enough that I could put out a video with good audio um, that I could release for you guys, and I'm really happy about that. So I show off those weapons a little bit there that I've got uh, in the primary slot. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys, and stay reptilian.